up to three, I am Fred giving problems. Field in line for the Embed presented Gold Cup. Seven furlongs, 1,400 meters. Denzel Miller doing the honors as starter, and they're off for the Gold Cup. An almost perfect start as they make their way down the back stretch and sort themselves out on the run toward the six. And She's My Destiny is the pacemaker. She's out in front, just the leader. She's a wonder is showing speed out wide as they charge down the far side and uh, she's a wonder and uh, she's my destiny. They go at it up front. Atomica settled back in third just off them. Jordan Reigns is in touch in fourth. Mahogany moving down on the outside. A break back to runaway. Algo running differently today off the fractions. I am Fred Race is up next and toward the back of the field it's the grey race car as the tempo will increase on the run now passing the 716. She's a wonder just the leader. She's my destiny pressing. Mahogany in a good spot. Atomica waiting right there on the rail. There goes runaway. Algo now beginning to make ground. Atomica has faded back quickly overtaken by I am Fred and at the back of the field it's race car but they're coming into the lane of the gold cup and Mahogany Mahogany with the top weight in the middle now grabs that lead. Runaway Algo trying to close the gap. She's my destiny has cried enough. Jordan Reigns has a lot to do from there. It is Mahogany. The left hand stick now being used profusely as they run past the furlong pole. Mahogany with the lead. He's stretching it a bit. Runaway Algo is trying his best but this Mahogany is huge. Mahogany and Ray and Lewis will take the gold cup in fine style over Runaway Algo. I am Fred is next over Jordan Reigns under Atomica, a bit disappointing, finishes behind them in fifth. Could have had obstacles, Atomica. Right away, there's a George's inquiry. General George's inquiry into the running of the race. Hold your tickets.
In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number 10, the Gold Cup. Number 6, Mahogany, a 5-year-old Chestnut Gelding by Sensational Slam. Meteorite by Traditional. Red Clovis Metcalf, CDOD. Own P. Ellis, H. Pratt, T. Pragnell, and Karen Prasad. Trainee in Prasad, that's the second winner for Trainee in Prasad. It's and well ridden by the action pack, Ray and Lewis, the winning rider, the groom, Frank Spencer. Second, number four, Runaway Algo. Third, number five, I Am Fred. Fourth, number one, Jordan Reigns. And fifth, number two, Atomic. A final time for 1,400 meters, 125 and a three. Mahogany, tough and beautiful in winning the Gold Cup for 2022, expertly handled by Ryan Lewis. And I have the winning jockey with me. Ryan, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it was a messy race for some of the horses, um, some of the runners in the field. Take me from the gate. What kind of race did you have down the back stretch? Well, um, I just break him and um, put him in a good position, a half mile. I just take time, move him. And on the top of the lane, I asked him for everything. How well did he go down onto the pace? They went 23 to 46 flat. Was that too far? Did you have to urge him to go down or did he go down easily? Well, he was pulling me into it, you know. So I know we have a lot, lot in him. Based on the race plan, the race instructions, uh, did, it, did the race go based on how you planned it? Well, yes, you know. And turning for home, you were on the rail, challengers outside. How well did he travel for you over the final quarter? Well, he gave me everything he could, you know, and I'm thankful for that. Yeah, well prepared, well handled by you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, Ray and Lewis there, the winning jockey, Mahogany, expertly handled by him. Henry Pratt is the owner who's going to walk into the shot right now, part owner of Mahogany. Uh, Henry, this horse had some disappointments in his three-year-old campaign. We all remember what happened in the classics. Uh, not quite what the script, well, what, the, what, what your script would have dictated. But he's matured since then, and he's at his very best now. And uh, how well did you rate what he did just now in the Gold Cup? Well, I tell you, this is certainly the most pleasing win 
Um, he was handicapped, in my opinion, out of the race. And I mean, that's just a display of pure heart today. Um, you know, he gave weight all around to horses who so had beaten him. As you know, we even lodged a, a, an objection. Yes. And, um, but that wasn't, that was, you know, turned down. But so I'm so pleased. This is such a fulfilling victory. I am, you know. The form book noted that he finished lame when beaten last time out. Um, what, what was that? Was that a major setback to overcome in preparation that, that, for this? Well, I heard about that first when I um, read it in the book. So that was actually so. Well, there you go. I can't say, All right. So in terms of the race plan, given the weight that he was carrying, given the quality yes. of his rivals and right. the weight that they were carry carrying relative to him, what was the plan that Ray Lewis was to execute today? Well, you know, the trainer gives the, give, give the plans, but uh, my understanding was that, you know, he would just be in the race, but not too far behind, not up front, but not too far behind and go for them at the four, which is exactly what Ryan did. He, you know, rode that beautiful race. As, as, as he always done for me. I mean, he rode She's a Wonder for me in the Guineas um, last year. And um, so he did a great job. Okay. Uh, and of course, I have to congratulate the training yeah. team, um, Ian and the, and the you know, goat, all the guys at the stable. Excellent job. And I'm so pleased. And finally, for, all the, for, for some of the disappointment that you've had with this horse, does yeah. today make up for everything else that has gone wrong? Well, December 3rd. December 3rd, the Mute Mile. This is just a, an appetizer for that. Hear you, Mr. Great. Pratt. Congratulations. Right, thank you. Henry Pratt there, the winning owner. Ian Prasad is standing by in the wings, the trainer of Mahogany. And uh, uh, I mean, I can say that it has been a tremendous training feat to get this horse here with this weight. Ian, when you looked at the handicaps, we know you lodged an objection and then that was, was, was denied. Then you had to plan to win this race with 57 kilos. What did you sit down with the team and plan to execute? very simple. Um, Mahogany, well, first of all, thanks be to God. I mean, we continue to do very well and kudos to the groom and everybody at the team. Um, Indian, who is the assistant at the stable, kudos to everyone. Uh, to be honest with you, George, Mahogany is just a very special horse. Really and truly, we don't try to do anything different with him. We try to keep him happy, present him for the race day, and then, you know, we give the jockey the job to do. Today, Ryan Lewis, who is riding him, I think, for the first or second time in his life, rode him absolutely perfect. Um, I was really concerned about the weight. There are so many very good horses that he's giving lumps of weight around. I didn't, honestly, I didn't think he'd win this race, but we we're still aiming to win the race. When I see him going to the half mile, the position where he was, she's a one that was setting the splits. Um, the real dangers to me with the lightweight were behind him. I knew he was going to use his pace at the three furlong and then kick at the top of the lane that they were going to be in trouble. And it just happened that way. I think how the race ran today suited Mahogany and it probably didn't suit some of the better horses. Yeah, they, they, it, it, I was saying to someone off camera that it was a messy affair for several horses. But 23-2 for the first two furlongs, then 46 flat, and Rayan said he was pulling him to get at those fractions. That must have been a moment when you were, a eureka moment for you then. Yeah, yeah, I mean, when I saw him very comfortable at the half mile, and as I said, the dangers in my view were nowhere in sight because, you know, she's my destiny and she's the one that were there to do their job. They were setting the pace and making sure everything was honest and making sure there was no easy path inside. After they did their job, you know, Mahogany had his job to do and he did it with a rider perfectly. Yeah, he, he, he's, a, he's a tough lad, a big lad. You, we, it's well documented the issues that he had, what you've had and the team keeping him fit, the near missing the classics. I asked the owner if this has made up for everything so far. He said, Mute Mile, but that's to come. Based on everything that has happened in this horse's career, isn't today particularly sweet the way he dismantled a top class field? Yeah, very, very satisfying. I mean, you know, when he, when he encountered Calculus, although he was a lone speed, I mean, he distanced those horses at a seven and a half furlong race. I mean, Mahogany is just really super special. If he turns up on his day, he's well, and he's well ridden, he's going to be very, very difficult to beat. That's, he is the star of the show, he's the star of the barn. It's as simple as that. The last thing to ask you is this. You must be going now to pray and prepare to intercede with the people who will allot the weights for the Mute Mile to treat you fairly? No, the Mute Mile is actually a condition race. Oh. We have checked those handicaps already. Yes. Um, in fact, if he didn't win today, he would have been going with 55 kilos in the Mute Mile. Now that he has won this race, he will go with 57. But everybody else will be a lot closer to him. Again, I'm not too worried about those handicaps because we're not going to get a huge spread anymore. You know, we're not giving away 11 kilos to a runaway Algo. We're not going to give away 
seven kilos to anatomical. You know, those are fantastic horses that deserve to be sitting 52, 53, 54 in a normal handicap race, in our opinion. But the fact of the matter is, I keep telling the owners, I've fought enough battles with handicapping. I try to focus on the horse and enjoy the horse because he's such a fabulous horse that I try not to get distracted with the other things. And I did say last one, but this is it. Uh, horses in the Western Hemisphere are usually at their best at four years old. He is five now. Is he better than he has ever been? And, and in terms of the, 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 how easy he is to keep fit these days? It's a hard question to answer because he was primed as a four-year-old. In fact, last year he was ready to go into the Gold Cup and we had to scratch him the day before. And then that was pretty much the end of the entire season for him. So hopefully this year as a five-year-old, again, he's well-primed. Um, you know, we'll probably run him once, maybe twice for the rest of the year. And um, we'll take it from there. And hopefully he'll keep sound for the Mute Mile because that is the main objective for everybody. Congratulations again, trainer. An excellent job. Thanks so much, George. That's Ian Prasad, the winning trainer.